down by Clemson. Hank looks inside. Now Bradford picked up by Spearman and Cavender. Douglas, a high, arching three that's good. Deep into the shot wow. clock. Give them a one point lead over Miami with that three from Douglas. Douglas only 29% from the bonus area. That's her 18th main three of the year. Out of 59 attempts. Arjavitz for three. Falls off the side of the rim. Spearman offensive rebound. And fouled on the way up. Or knocked out of play on the way up. I'd like to see Spearman take one power dribble and, and go back up. Old Aker comes in for the University of Miami. Clemson by one. Arjavitz to inbound. In for Harden. Old Aker steps in and took too many steps. Her size is deceptive. You think she can't move the way she can, and once she gets that ball, she just kind of transforms. There comes Douglas with a big three that put Clemson in front, 14 to 13. Douglas from Omaha, Nebraska. It's a good matchup for Clemson. They match up well with for the Canes. I think they tried to throw a lob there. They did. On the other end, Miami can't get it to go. Arjavis. It's run down by Elmore. Rapinian on the move. Three ball on the way. Too strong. No good by Robinson. Cavender the rebound, badgered and shadowed by Douglas. Boomerangs it to Ariovitz. Old Aker in traffic, off the window and good. Miami in front by one. That was the definition of threading a needle and Destiny with the steal. With the hustle play, getting back on defense, giving Miami another opportunity down, <clears throat> down the court, excuse me. Harden sends it up. Off target. The pace is still yep. very, very fast in these first quarter. It's a little surprising to me. Douglas for Whitehorn. Back to Douglas. Now Robinson turns the corner with a hard left-handed dribble and puts it in. She faked the handoff and went straight to the basket. Caught Miami on their heels and sleeping. Seven for Robinson. A one point Clemson lead. Miami throws it away. Ariovitz for Cavender. Here's another look at Robinson. You can't give her, you can't let her get hot. She has the ability to score 20 on you real fast. Had a 16 point game against Louisville. Been in double figures 22 times this year. Not shy about the moment. Bradford for Robinson at the elbow. Robinson against two Miami defenders traveled. I mean, tough to get around Old Acre and Spearman. You know, just a little bit. You can't go through them, that's for sure. Final 30 seconds of the first quarter. An explosive first quarter. Arjavitz on the left wing. And she traveled. Yeah, a lot of traveling violations tonight. This is a definitely a defensive game. Both teams putting a lot of pressure on each other. Five turnovers for Miami, eight for Clemson. Clemson will take the final shot of the first quarter. At least that's their thinking right now. Dwyer trying to badger Bradford. Bradford around Dwyer. Picked up by Spearman. Hank from the three-point line. Too strong. Rebounded at the buzzer up and in by Robinson. Great rebound by Robinson. And that is going to have Katie Meyer steaming. She's already there. Yep. After this is just one. effort. This is just effort right here.
We move to the second quarter. Clemson leading Miami. There's a look at bracketology inside the ACC. Miami and Katie Meyer, their team right now, according to bracketology, and Charlie Cream, a nine seed inside the NCAA tournament. Miami's played a whale of a schedule. They've had some great wins and some tough losses, but they've played a very competitive schedule. And right now, bracketology has Miami in the tournament. But you never feel safe, right? Especially not when it's only one game separating three from nine. Oh, perfect pass. Spearman for Old Acre. Sails it right in there. Perfect pass as opposed to you learn to let your big go get it. You throw it at the bottom corner of the backboard. And she did exactly that. Clemson by one, 18 to 17. Into the passing lane goes Spearman. Bradford for Hank. Works it to the right side of the floor. For Whitehorn. Shot clock down to one. And a violation. Miami's the fourth best rebounding team in the ACC. Clemson is number 13. Miami is, uh, in, has a plus margin in rebounding this year. 39 rebounds a game. Clemson a minus margin. But Clemson right now winning the rebounding battle. It's just who wants it more. Rebounding is solely about effort. And I think right now Clemson wants the rebounds more. It's up to Miami. It's it's only about effort. Dwyer steps in and another travel. Harden re-enters the fray for Miami. So does Julia Williams. Looks like Miami's trying to pick up the defensive pressure. That one deflected into the hands of Harden. Long outlet pass for Cavender is intercepted on the other end by Whitehorn. Here comes Whitehorn with a full head of steam and drag the foot. That'll be number 11 for Clemson while Miami has eight turnovers. Neither one of the, the clubs are really taking care of the ball right now. And Miami with nine points off those Clemson turnovers. 18-17 Tigers. Cavender to Cavender to Williams and a return to Cavender. Williams one more time. Pulls up, got it. That one dribble pull up is, is just her bread and butter right now. It's working for Williams. Miami reclaims the lead by one. Williams had just two points in her last outing against Duke. Three points against Clemson. Hank against Harden. Odd has it. I think Clemson's played everybody on the roster so far. Shot clock down to seven. Miami pokes and jabs. Hank can't get it away. And an offensive foul on Clemson. That'll uh, give Miami some momentum. They're really stepping it up on defense. Perpignan called for the foul. Back into the game comes Douglas. Douglas had a four for four game against Louisville. Right now, shadowing Cavender to Williams. One point lead for Miami. Haley Cavender, middle of the floor. Harden inside the zone, got it. Harden get into the gut of your defense. Three point lead for Miami. Harden in double figures in 15 of 23 games this year for Miami. Has six tonight. Douglas in the corner. Whips a left handed pass down low to Hank. They traveled again. Shuffled her feet. She took a, if she took a drop step or a dribble, that would have eliminated that travel call. Here comes In Yang into the game for Clemson. Tigers up the 12 turnovers. At some point, uh, that's going to turn into an avalanche, right? Avalanche of points. Just can't 
keep turning the ball over like that and giving up possessions. I mean, you give yourself less of an opportunity to, to get a shot at the basket. Williams bothered by Douglas. Hannah Cavender. Williams along the baseline. Slalom's through two defenders. Harden and elbow jumper. Got it, and give her one more. Well, don't let Harden get started. It'll be a long night for Clemson. 23-18 Miami. Harden had 19 points against Clemson in the first game. Already has eight tonight. All credit goes to Jaleel. Mm -hmm. Creating for a teammate. Elmore back in. Robinson will get a rest. I take that back. Whitehorn will sit down. Harden with the free throw good. 70% from the free throw line. So after the three-point play, it's 24-18 Miami. Haley has yet to score. And so if you're Miami and you're, and you're up by six, with your leading score with zero points, you're in good shape. Douglas misses wildly and runs down her own rebound. Papinian with it. Transfer from Elon. Inside for Elmore and last touch by Miami. They waited until the ball was at the top to try to lob it because there is no help from the middle of the court. Second quarter, Tamara's been all Miami. They've outscored Clemson 9-0 here in the second quarter. And this will be an offensive foul on the Tigers. Just a little bit of frustration settling in on, on Clemson right now. Miami making it really hard for them to get a shot at the basket. 13 turnovers in 15 minutes. Twenty-four, eighteen, Miami. The Hurricanes looking for more breathing room. Cavender on the move in the lane, cross the lane, and scores. That was just pretty. That was just pretty. Off balance, going to your left, shooting with your right. Clemson needs a timeout. The sky is falling right now. They can't stop it. It's an eleven, nothing run for the University of Miami. Cavender scores on the move on a beautiful dribble drive, fall away. Miami 26 and Clemson 18. We're at the Watsco Center. We're at the Watsco Center in Coral Gables on the campus of the University of Miami. Tamara James, you're a football fan. The Super Bowl was decided by a turnover. A fumble recovery. Turnovers kill you in every sport. The University of Miami tonight has outscored Clemson 16 to 3. Off of turnovers. Clemson turned it over 12 times. Miami has 16 points off of turnovers. That's just the name of the game. You literally cannot score if you don't have the ball. There's a three ball by Bradford, her second of the game. Just have to take care of the basketball. Take care of the basketball, settle down, and let the game come to you. 26-21, Bradford 29% from long ranges, made two tonight. She came into the game six for her last 19 field goal attempts. Oh, Cavender tees up a three open. ball good. You cannot leave her wide open. Set her feet, took aim, and buried. You can't even leave her contested. You certainly can't leave her wide open. 29-21 Miami. For Cavender, her 52nd three-pointer of the year. 41%. In the bonus area foul. Robinson gets into the lane. Here's another look at the Cavender three. Just set up beautifully. Barely disturbed the Nets. 39 points away from her 2,000th point. And I think she will get that before this season is over. Well, she got 33 in one game earlier, so. She can get it today, huh? Yeah. <laughs> she definitely has the ability to, you know. I, I, I was always uh, very skeptical when she first came. You know, I'm, I'm like from Wyoming, the Show Me State. 
And so she definitely has shown her place here on this Miami team. A lot of grit, a lot of passion, and, and the heart and soul of this Miami team this year. Second one by Robinson is no good. Harden runs down the rebound. Robinson double figures 22 times. Harden, Cavender. One more time to Harden. Pulls up inside the three-point line. Good. Miami's looking like a well-oiled machine on offense right now. 11 for Harden. Double figures now in 16 of 24 games. 31-22 Miami. Three-pointer well off target. And Robinson goes over the top with a foul. Harden doing a really good job of putting the body on, on Clemson and boxing out. And sometimes that means that the guards are getting those rebounds, but it's all for the greater good of, of getting securing the basketball. Harden, Roberts, Williams, Cavender, Pendande for Miami. Perpignan, Bradford, Elmore, Robinson, and Hankford for the Clemson Tigers. Harden on the move with 11 points. Roberts has it poked away and then traveled. That'll be the ninth Miami Hurricanes turnover. The lead is nine. It's the biggest of the game for Miami. Douglas on the move against Roberts. Connects to Bradford. Roberts is rather Douglas one more time. Right there is Roberts. Now Robinson. On to, Bra on to a Bradford. Bradford from the free throw line, good. Nice penetration to the basket. Getting right there and just rising above the defense. Eight for Bradford, scored 22. Her season high against Western Carolina. Williams tailgated by Douglas. Over to Cavender. Seven point lead for Miami at home at the Watsko Center. Williams has nine to shoot. Cavender has seven to shoot. Ball trickles away, picked up by Bradford. On to Douglas. Douglas in on Cavender. Now Clemson will try to get into their offense. Nunu Bradford's had the high hand here. Robinson with seven. Timer down to five. Bradford open for three. Good, her third of the game. Nice penetration and pitch, and Clemson has come out of the timeout, energized, not wanting to go into halftime, down by 10 points. Bradford averages 9.4, she has 11 tonight. Roberts trying to answer, and does. Unselfish basketball by Miami. Roberts had 23 earlier this year against Virginia Tech. And a Miami victory. 34-27, Hurricanes inside of two minutes here in the first half. Douglas getting cozy, or rather Williams getting cozy with Douglas here. Trying to badger her. Hank to the free throw line, good. Quick Bo shot from the big man. 34-29, five-point lead for Miami. Cavender sells it to Roberts. Hard in the trailer. Back to Williams, Cavender had, had an idea for three. Gets below the elbow and scores. I like how she's really not rushing anything. She's letting the game come to her, and she's hurting them. That's seven for Cavender. Robinson throws it away to Roberts. Full head of steam. Roberts steps in and misses. Rebounded by Pendande. Two more for Miami. Pace is hard and fast with 43 seconds to go. And a 38-29 Hurricanes lead. Miami's outscored Clemson 23 to 11 here in the second quarter. And a three second violation. I think Miami will hold it for the last shot. 
14 turnovers now for the Clemson Tigers. Clemson unable to foul because they already have four team fouls, so that'll put Miami at the free throw line. So Clemson's gonna have to buckle down and play disciplined defense, try to get a stop. Harden, Roberts, Cavender, Cavender, and Old Acre for Miami. Roberts, sideline right. Hannah Cavender. Watched closely by Douglas. Douglas shadowing Cavender. Over to Haley Cavender. Here comes an ambush with a double team. Hook pass. Roberts, one touch to Cavender. Seven to shoot. And traveled. Yeah, shuffled her feet. 11th first half turnover for Miami. So now Clemson, they've made three of their last three shots. They will have an opportunity for the final shot. And Miami with an opportunity to get a, a foul. They look like they're going to get penetrated against. I think we have a uh, discussion on the clock. All right, 6.2 seconds remaining. They got to go. Bradford's had the hide hand to Hank down to two. Oh, that's a tough place to be in the corner. Not a and good decision making. The ball ball <laughs> ended. It went in something, just not in the room. <laughs> ball got stuck behind the shot clock. That was not good thinking on Clemson's part given time on this court can score 20 points on this Miami team and that's what makes them so difficult to guard. Okay, Clemson gets the first possession of the third quarter. Opinion moves it right. Now Hank. Whitehorn did not score in the first half. Hank out of the corner for three and that's a good start for Clemson. Hank has been a catch and score type of player. Oh, and, and they hit the floor on defense. They, uh -huh. they are ready coming out of the halftime. Hank came into this game shooting 34% from long range. Connects for the 25th time from the bonus area. Cavender around and out. The 12th best scorer inside the ACC. Good hustle by Harden. Into Pendande. Looking for position and travel. Pendande was waiting and embracing the contact before the contact came and she shuffled her feet. So a six point lead for Miami. Clemson opens a quarter with a three pointer. And now a second attempt at a three. Good, back to back threes. They've Bradford with 14. Out. Yeah, they've come out that locker room and they're ready to play. They're not ready to just give up and lay down. That one tumbles off the iron. And last touch by Miami. Bradford's season high is 22. Has 14 tonight. Three point game just like that. Kings have been good in the third quarter this year. Robinson, rather, uh, Williams in traffic for Miami. Off the miss by Whitehorn. Williams open, fires and scores. That's something you learn. You do not leave the person with the ball. Williams three for four tonight. Last week against Florida State, she was five for eight, good for 14 points. Hank for Robinson. Bradford another three. Off the heel. Down with a good rebound for Miami is Williams. Finding open space into the lane. The layup is no good. Gets her own rebound. Harden for a triple try. Basket spits it out. Rebounded by Hank. The pace of the game is still high, Joe. They haven't slowed down yet. Battle lines have been drawn and both teams won. Five-point lead for Miami here in the third quarter in Coral Gables. Papinian 
from Upper Marlboro, Maryland for Robinson. Four to shoot. Bradford drives in. Got it to go. 16. Oh, very nice move to the basket from Bradford. She is putting this team on her back. 16 and counting for Bradford. Stacking up a big game. Williams weighs her options. Cavender. Back to Williams. Connects with Roberts. Nine to shoot for Miami. Cavender for three, no. Whistle blows and a foul on Miami. Offensive foul on the University of Miami on Williams. I'm not sure what Ooh. happened. That'll be her first. Tigers with a three ball could tie it right here. It's 40 to 37, Miami. Third quarter, 6.50 to go. Bradford has had the hot hand. Whitehorn in for Hank. And another travel by Clemson. 15 turnovers at the start of the third quarter. I'll tell you what, Clemson has had busy feet tonight. I think, I think both teams are just anxious. They want it, and they're getting a little too happy. But Clemson is is giving Miami some trouble in, in this 2-3 that they've been in. Douglas and Inyang report back to duty for the Tigers. Williams connects with Roberts. Back to Williams. A lob inside for Pendande. Pendande looking for some space and got foul. Pendande had 15 points in that first game against Clemson on five of 11 shooting. Tonight is two for two, good for four points, and will go to the free throw line where she shoots 71%. Two shots, she has 67 free throws this year and has connected 48 times. Gains back in for the Tigers. Pendande's first free throw no good. The transfer from Utah. Shovels the second one up there and is good. Makes one out of two. And that gives Miami a 41-37 lead. Douglas in the backcourt against Julia Williams. And they drift left. They glare at each other, neither one blinks. Douglas gets it back. Gaines, nine to shoot for Clemson. Bradford tries to get it inside. Take away by Pendande. Here comes Williams, Cavender on the wing. Now Cavender on the baseline. Oh, what a shot! Got it to go, a reverse on the baseline. She's just fearless, Joe. She's fearless and she is unafraid of how big you are, how tall you are, and how strong you are. Found a sliver of daylight and scores with the left hand. What a good pass from Jaleel. A circus shot by Cavender. A dollop of delight for Miami, 43-37, with Cavender getting one more. She's warming up. They don't want Cavender to get hot. Free throw is good to go. Ten points now for Cavender. Seven-point lead for Miami at the Watsko Center. Bradford on the move, cut off by Oldacre. Now Douglas. A oh, blocking foul on Miami. Harden thought she slid in there yeah. before time. She's such a, a good person to draw offensive fouls from, but got there a little too soon. In Yang on the move on this one. Ah, her foot was inside of the restricted circle. Ah. 
Yin Yang on the line. Seventy-three percent free throw shooter this year. Yin Yang had fourteen points against Syracuse, and that one's off the heel, no good. Yin Yang had a double double against Florida State, ten points and eleven rebounds. Second one is good from St. Cloud, Florida. Clemson gives Miami a look at a full court press. Williams had a nice stop and go move there and then got deflected at the end. Block from behind. All ball. Williams going to the basket right here. The Elmore just a little too tall and caught up with her. Bradford badgered by Cavender. Gets it over to Douglas. Then Elmore. On to Gaines. Picked up by Harden. Deflected by Roberts. Roberts gets it back. Oh, the push ahead. Cavender with a layup that is oh. it's good. Everybody held their breath. All the Miami fans held their breath until it finally went down. 14 with the Valentine's Day kiss at the rim. Hung on for a little minute before it dropped in. 46 38, four and a half to go, third quarter. Got a foul on Miami. We're going to go to a break. Timeout. High energy game. Here at the Wasco Center in Coral Gables, Miami and Clemson. Your score, Miami 46 and Clemson 38. Four twenty-eight to play, third quarter. At the Wasco Center, Miami trucks back out onto the floor. Spearman and Hannah Cavender will play with Williams, Haley Cavender, and Hardy. 17 turnovers by Clemson. That matches with the average, and we're only midway through the third quarter. They're going to have to find a way to take care of the ball. Harden rips down the rebound for Miami. Clemson's outscored Miami 9 to 8 in the third quarter. 46 38. Cavender with 12. Harden with 11. Hannah Cavender looking for her sister. Now goes to Williams. Back to Hannah. Haley Cavender left of the key. Hannah Cavender on the three-point line. A floater deflected. Gaines has it for the Tigers. A little serpentine through the Miami defense. Off to Douglas. Harden goes for the steal. McLemore. Left side to Perpignan. And I think they got Williams on a hand check. Williams doesn't like that call. You know, she's such an aggressive defensive player. She would have been perfect 18 years ago when you were allowed to be a little more physical as a guard, but now you cannot hand check. Inbounds, Harden goes for the steal on McLemore. She played that like a safety. Tried to put her hand in between McLemore's palm. Um. Radford hangs in the air and scores. That was a nice scoop to the hoop. Radford having a really nice game. Sparkling and shining. Radford with 18 points. Leading She's all scores. Out everything in her catalog right now. Trying to keep Clemson breathing in this match. Williams. Cavender wants it. Back to Williams. Hannah Cavender comes up short. Gaines has it for the Tigers. Williams back on defense. Gaines in on Williams. Poke away. Nice hands by Williams. Stopping the fast break. Whitehorn back in for the Tigers. And Miami will counter momentarily with Roberts. Oh, the pass goes into the backcourt. Cavender goes for the steal. 
Whitehorn gets it back. Hook pass deflected by Williams, and Cavender has it. Another turnover. Cavender for Spearman, and last touch by Miami. Not very good decision making by Cavender for that possession. They'll give Miami their 14th turnover. The lead is 6 4 Miami, 46 40. 32 turnovers between both teams. 2.29 to go in the third quarter. Elmore. Perpignan. 1,200 career points. Now here is Whitehorn gets it to go. And the lead is down to four. Clemson deciding to stay in this 2-3. Cavender lets it fly. And it tumbles off the iron, no good. Offensive foul on Miami on Harden on the rebound. Uh, I don't really like that call. You have two people going after the ball. I think you just let them play. Like the Super Bowl. Just like the Super Bowl. <laughs> I knew, you let them knew exactly play. where you were going. Here's another look at it. There wasn't a box out. Bradford didn't put her body on on Harden and secure that box out, and they both just jumped after the ball. Bradford approaching her season high. She has 18 and counting. Her season high is 22. Oh, she's going to get that easy. She's going to get that. Have a whole another quarter to go. 68% this year in the free throw line. Missed that one. She had four points in their last outing on two of ten shooting against Louisville, but tonight, seven for ten. Stacking up a big game. Missed both free throws. Harden in a tussle. And Harden cannot, cannot retrieve the rebound, so Clemson will get another chance at it. You know, both teams match up very well. They're similar with each other, and I think that's why you see this type of defensive game in the amount of turnovers. They, they are very, very similar in nature. Miami shooting 52%, Tigers 47%. Opinion has it against Williams. Has not scored tonight, as I mentioned earlier, earlier has 1,200 career points. Ball is loose, another turnover. Spearman has it for Miami, now Williams. Williams darts to the free throw line, Lawson. Picked up by Harden and foul. Miami's been shooting blanks for the last three and a half minutes. They need a bucket. Their lead is down to four. They need it now. Any other time, they need it now. Miami's largest lead, nine. Clemson's last lead was 18 to 17. Cavender lobs it for Harden. Got it and give her one more. What a way for Destiny to just go up and get that ball and finish in traffic with contact. Nice pass by Cavender. You know, it's a 1-4 high, and there is no help from the middle of the court. That's why you saw that ball coming from the top of the key. Harden a 70% free throw shooter. Puts it up and good. 14 points for Harden. And she's collected six rebounds. And Harden will get a rest here going into the fourth quarter. Forty-nine forty-two. Another night in the ACC where every game. Seems like it comes down to the final shot. That's the type of conference you want, Joe. Never know who's going to come up with the win, regardless of rankings. These teams in the ACC have shown that they can play with anyone. One minute to go in the third quarter. McLemore. Perpignan wants three. It's deflected. And 
that'll be two shots. Yep. Foul on Clemson. And they send the wrong one to the line. Yep, Cavender going to the free throw line. You know, she hasn't taken enough free throws to qualify in the ACC for one of the uh, top free throw shooters, yet she's 92%, 50 out of 54. And that's not enough? How, how many do you have to shoot? I don't know. I guess more. <laughs> Apparently more. First one good. 10 points, 10 points in 38 minutes against Duke in her last game. And Cavender now with 13 here tonight. And good in a pair of free throws. Seven in the second half, 14 in the game. And back to a nine point lead, matching the largest lead of the game. Inside one minute to go in the third quarter. Bradford for Hank. Opinion has not scored. Robinson's been quiet here in the third quarter. McLemore is fouled. Sneaking in that back door to give them two free throws. Foul is on Roberts. And that will be her third. So area vets will come on and Roberts will sit down. And two shots for Elmore. Elmore one for two tonight. Three rebounds, one for two on the free throw line. And that one is no good. Side iron miss. Elmore from Ohio. Full court press from Clemson. Eighteen seconds to go. Third quarter. Williams. For Cavender. Area that's on the three point line. Down to six seconds. Cavender wants it. Dribbles it off for a foot. Two seconds to go. Cavender trying to create space. Offensive foul. I don't think that they executed that play the way they executed in practice. No. So 1.1 1 .1 remaining. Here in the third quarter. Got a little anxious to get a shot up and pushed off. Douglas will not get a shot off and that can please three quarters here at the Wasco Center. So three quarters down. We'll have an adventure right here in the fourth quarter. Miami leads Clemson 51 to 42. With 14. We start the fourth quarter. Miami leads at 51 to 42. Been an entertaining game. A lot of turnovers, but there's been a lot of energy in this game. A lot of energy, very high pace. Both teams running and gunning and just ready to play. Ariovitz, Old Acre gets down low and scores. Good offense right there. Great execution coming out of the break from third and fourth quarter. Shows a little bit of focus from Miami. Hurricanes have their largest lead of the night now. 11. Robinson has not scored in the second half. And Harden collects another rebound. She's been very, very quiet. She's going to have to score to give Clemson a chance. And Bradford's going to have to come back in the game. Cavender lets it fly. A three ball by Cavender stretches the lead to 56 42. Amanda Butler just not okay with that. You know, on the scouting report, what you have to do and 
Having Cavender shoot threes is not a part of the scout. Three from the corner by Robinson won't go. Harden another rebound. Area bits, Cavender thinking about another three. Harden from the elbow. It tumbles off. Hank with a rebound for the Tigers. 56-42 Miami. Clemson looking for that mismatch inside. A foul on Miami. Largest lead now for the Kings, 14. Early substitution by Clemson. Cavender picks up the foul, Haley Cavender. And she'll go to the bench, and here comes Roberts. Third foul on Cavender. Foul is on Oldacre on uh, before Clemson can even inbound the ball. Whitehorn misses, and that one trickles out of play, out of bounds. The Tigers now need to make something happen with their defense. 14 point game. They can't afford to turn the ball over and take ill advised shots. Roberts for Williams. Roberts with a step back, in and out. And an old acre for the foul. Miami with three team fouls in just two and a half minutes. Miami took command of this game in the second quarter, outscored Clemson 23 to 11. It was even in the third quarter at 13 apiece. Miami scored the first five here in the fourth quarter. Tigers have gone into a bit of a drought until Robinson scores. Her first bucket of the second half. Good penetrate, draw the defense. Drop it right off to your big. Turnover by Miami. Hank on the other end of a long pass and lays it up and in. And a timeout, Amy Meyer. It's a lot of time on the court. The lead has been trimmed to 10 now. And Miami shooting blank for the last two and a half minutes. We'll take a timeout. Miami by 10, 56 to 46. Six minutes and 45 seconds from the finish line. And her 338th career win at Miami. And it would give Miami their 10th conference victory. But they got to finish things off. And Clemson hanging around. Just a little bit. 10-point game with a little under seven minutes ago. And that is a lot of time to make something happen if you're Clemson. Area bits for Pendande. And a Cavender has it. Area Bits finds Pendande. If you're Miami, are you draining the clock or is it too early to do that? It's way too early to do that. You don't want to get into a lull. You want to continue with your level of pay and how that was. So I don't want Miami to get used to this type when you are trying to milk the clock and get a quality shot at the end of it. Just play your game and take care of the ball. As I say that, they get a shot clock violation. Got a broadcaster's jinx or something? <laughs> I think so. You've done that a few times tonight, Joe. <laughs> Perpignan moves left. Cavender right with her. Hank from the elbow. 
Ball's off the front of the rim. Harden in a tussle for the rebound. Harden one ninth. rebound away from a double-double. Williams for Cavender kicks it around on the floor. Williams and a jump ball. And the possession arrow, the alternating possession, goes to Clemson. So that counts as another turnover for the Canes, which makes this almost 40 turnovers between both teams, 18 and 20. Miami digs in on defense now, trying to protect a 10-point lead at home. Bradford for Robinson, leading score for the Tigers. Tries to bushwhack her way through the Miami defense. And it's taken away. Here comes Hart. Hart wants to go coast to coast. Got it to go. Got her 10th rebound and her 16th point. A double-double for Destiny Harden. And she is not making it easy for the Clemson Tigers. The lead is 12 as we approach five minutes. Hanks around it at the elbow. Whitehorn on the move, cut off by Cavender. Shot clock down to seven for the Tigers. Hank dribbles it off her foot and another turnover. And that brings us to a timeout. Destiny Harden leading the charge for Miami. A double-double for Harden. 16 points, 10 rebounds. Goes coast to coast and puts Miami in front by a dozen. We're coming down the home stretch. 4.51 to go in the game. Three seconds on the shot clock on this inbounds by the Tigers. Two, Whitehorn lets it go and is fouled by Williams. Ooh, that sends Katie Meyer to the end of her bench with her head in her hands. A foul with one second on the shot clock. Tough call. Whitehorn is a 63% free throw shooter. 37 out of 58. Has only two points tonight. She did a great job creating that contact and forcing the refs to make a call. And first, that's what they did. Good on the first free throw. Whitehorn good in a pair of free throws. Four forty-eight to play, ten-point lead for Miami. Clemson has to force turnovers, and they have to convert those turnovers into baskets urgently. Time is a commodity that they don't have much of. Williams against Robinson. Into the lane. Cavender and foul by Douglas. Clemson with no, the, their first team foul. All right. Deep into the fourth quarter. Cavender to a flashing Harden. No good. Hank the rebound onto Douglas. Robinson. Boomerangs it to Bradford. Bradford or Robinson is going to have to make a play for Clemson. Shot clock down to seven. Inside of four minutes to play. Hank in the corner, badgered by Cavender. Let's it fly around and out. Offensive rebound by Bradford. Fresh 20 for the Tigers. The lead is 10 for Miami. It's their 11th offensive rebound. Bradford with 18 points. 
Robinson, a triple try. No good. Cavender collects the rebound for Miami. Cavender, 17 points. Couple of rebounds. Holdacre turns, fires, no good. Tries to grab her own rebound and lost it. Three twelve to go. Clemson has missed their last four shots. Their hopes of coming back are slowly dwindling. Yep. Every possession they go without a made basket. Tigers shooting blanks right now. I think they got Pendande on a foul. Underneath the basket. Got to be two free throws. The 2.56 to go. That's one way to try to climb back in, slice the lead. Yeah, stop the clock. Free shots. In Yang to the free throw line. First one is good. In Yang now two out of three tonight on the uh, charity strike. To make it an eight point game. And does. So the lead is eight with a shade under three minutes to play. Now Miami has to take care of the ball. Williams juggles it. Cavender in traffic. Clemson swarming the ball and a turnover. And then Miami gets it back. Williams has it and is fouled. Katie was calling the timeout back when they were getting in trouble trying to keep get a hold of the ball. Cavender. Now she doesn't want it. I think roller derby just broke out. <laughs> you ever see roller derby? No, I haven't. What is it? <laughs> They were on roller skates, roller skates, and they just kind of crashed into each other to get points. Oh no! Went and skated around the you know, an oval and crashed into each other. Yeah, I don't want to. I don't want to purposely crash into anyone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm showing my age. Here goes Cavender. Oh, turnover! Rag race to the rim, and two for Clemson. Perpignan puts it in. Her first bucket of the game. And now we have a game with two minutes to go. Six-point game. Two minutes to go. Two-possession game. Clemson Cavender. has Miami on their toes. Yeah, being badgered. Hannah Cavender and a timeout by Katie Meyer. <laughs> well, <laughs> we're going to have some drama here at the Wasco Center. Yeah, we thought Miami had the game tucked away, and Clemson said, not yet. We are still here. Tigers suddenly on a 6-0 run, and Miami's turned it over four times in the last six minutes and change. So the turnover count, 19 for Miami and 20 for Clemson. I, I haven't heard of that. Uh, maybe one team is kind of lopsided, and you can tell why the score is what it is, but... It's still been a very entertaining game, high-paced game, giving us a drama at the end. Points off of turnovers now. Miami, Miami 25, Clemson 17. Miami's going to have to show their ability to take control of a lead at the end of the game. And for if you're Clemson, you want to show that you can come back and that is not over until zero minutes, zero seconds on the clock. Six-point game, two minutes to go. Williams inbounds. Miami has two timeouts remaining. Clemson has three in the final two minutes. That's the situation. And another turnover by Miami now that's even at 20 apiece. Wow. 40 turnovers in the game. Wow, maybe half of them have been traveling violations. I, I believe so. Something in the water down here in Miami. Tigers could cut it to three. They're four for 11 on three-point shots. Roberts has made uh, 
Or rather, they are seven for 19 on three-point shots. Bradford has made four. Four for six. Perpignan has the ball. She has two points in the game. She averages nine. Hank has it. Here comes Bradford. Robinson. Tigers on a 6 nothing run. And... Kickball situation, yeah. so it'll be reset to 20. Robinson's had a quiet second half. Their leading scorer averages 13 points a game. 12 tonight. 10 came in the first half. Opinion, Bradford, Robinson, Hank, and Inyang for the Tigers. Important possession for Clemson. Hank has it. On to Bradford. Lurking close by is Williams. 12 on the shot clock. Old Acre on the switch. Now Williams on the switch. Robinson inside. Comes up short. Old Acre has the rebound. On the miss by Inyang. Here's Williams dropping up the right sideline. Williams will circle back out. Picks up her dribble. 115 to play in the game. They'll pull it back out. Referee, an official timeout. I'm not sure why. Inadvertent whistle. Yeah. Katie Myers shares her opinion. Williams to inbound for Miami. And we got a foul on Clemson. Three fouls on the Tigers. I'm not sure. I'll... Now Clemson will play five on four. Inbounds goes to Roberts. Back to Williams. Cavender approaching one minute to go. And Miami turns it over again. And just dribbled it out of bounds. Miami three turnovers, last four minutes. Six turnovers in the last seven minutes. They have passed Clemson in turnovers. Yep. 21 to 20. Scoring drought of four minutes and 15 seconds. One minute to go. Clemson has to hurry. They have to hurry. And a foul on Miami on the wing. You know, Joe, I was going to say that, you know, if I'm Amanda, I am trying to draw fouls and get to the free throw line, stop the clock, and get free throws. And it just seems like they've been a little passive and not understanding the situation where Miami has five team fouls. Perpignan to the free throw line, the transfer from Elon, 72% free throw shooter, 1,200 career points, only two tonight. First free throw is good. Lunch is going to make Miami fans go to the uh, fingernail buffet. I know. <laughs> Four point game. 58 54. Miami, Two possession game. Miami has not scored in four minutes and 27 seconds. You know, the last contest ended in overtime. Do you think we're going into overtime, Joe? <laughs> we could. We'll see. A nothing run for the Tigers. And Bradford fouls Harden, who has a double double. Now both teams are in the bonus. Four fouls on Clemson. Now you're going to see that defense relax just a little bit. 58 54. Roberts able to thread the needle to Harden. Harden on the sideline. Oh, look at that effort from Bradford. Williams has it. 20 on the shot clock, 38 to play. Clemson is going to play this out. 12 seconds on the shot clock. Four-point Miami lead. And Miami trapped in the corner. Katie Meyer forced to use one of her timeouts. 12 to, 12 to 2 run for the Tigers over the last six and a half minutes. They're trying to come up with a great closing argument. You know, you have to give them credit for the effort that they've shown in the last six minutes of this contest. It's been the most effort that they've shown in the entire game. And they've gotten them down to where this is a two possession game with 29 seconds to go. And that is a lot of time if you know basketball. 
10 seconds on the shot clock for Miami. Yeah, they, if they can keep Miami from scoring, a three obviously brings them within one. Two possession game, you Two need a stop. Game. You need a stop, and you need a quick bucket. Then you need another stop, preferably a steal. Miami trying to find a way to quell the momentum of the Clemson Tigers on a 12-2 run over the last six and a half minutes. Clemson has outscored Miami in the fourth quarter, 12-7. Miami's been in a bundle of close games this year. Not a stranger to close finishes. They've been here a time or two. Harden, Roberts, Williams, Cavender, Old Acre for Miami. Opinion, Bradford, Elmore, Robinson, In Yang for the Tigers. Twenty-nine seconds to play in the game. Cavender trying to get it in bounds. Harden is wide open. Eight seconds on the shot clock. Back to Haley Cavender. Haley on the move. Being badgered, down to two, down to one, lets it fly. It's an air ball. A shot clock violation. Clemson has 19 seconds to score twice. And a timeout, Clemson. They'll they, advance the ball. And they need a quick score. They'll advance the ball, try to get a quick score, and a quick foul. They have tossed a shutout for nearly five minutes. Miami has turned the ball over seven times in the last eight minutes and 37 seconds. That's a lot of turnovers. My adrenaline is going, I want to play a little basketball now. <laughs> See if I have any uh, eligibility left. 22 Miami turnovers. 20 for Clemson. We've got drama at the Watsco Center in Coral Gables. The situation is Miami 58, Clemson 54. Miami one timeout remaining, Clemson has two. Four point lead for Miami, they haven't scored in five minutes. Tension and anxiety in the air at the Watsco Center. Inbounds from Hank. Opinion got a move. Bradford dribbles it off for put in scooped up by Harden. 11 seconds to go. Harden fouled by Bradford. And a chance to put some heavy nails into the coffin now. Yeah. Well, fitting that a turnover, another one, perhaps decisive. You the took the seconds. words out of my mouth, Joe. That just tells you the tale of the game and what it's been like. They've literally averaged over one turnover per minute. Here Both is teams. Harden on the line. And in and out with eight seconds to go. Four-point lead. So it makes it incredibly hard. Harden good on one out of two, and Clemson will use another timeout. And advance the ball, trailing by five with eight seconds remaining. Well, with eight seconds, Joe, it's a catch and shoot situation on one end to even try and foul and, and get the ball back and do it again. Some combination of five for the Tigers. It's going to have to be Robinson or Bradford. Miami trying to escape this one without a field goal over the final five minutes of the game. That That is interesting that they've been able to hold on to this type of lead, you know, with without scoring, with the scoring drought. Harden and Kevin are each with 17. Bradford with 18 for Clemson. Robinson has 12. Harden, a double-double, 17 points, 10 rebounds. Clemson having trouble getting the ball in. Williams bats it away. 
Did they call a five second violation? I think they did. Or no, no. no. They said uh, they're gonna have to go back and, oh, and see, add we, some yeah. time onto the shot clock. I the thought shot really, clock. I think Williams knocked it out, right? She did. Yeah. She did, uh, but that play is under review for timing error. Gives them a free timeout. So the situation right now, 8.3 seconds to go. 59-54, Miami, here's a, another look. See, it just ran. Yeah. The valiant effort by Clemson down the stretch. May not be enough to get him over the lump, the hump. Trailed by 14 points with 8.56 to go in the game. And nearly tossed a shutout. There's still hope. I remember my senior year being down eight points with 30 seconds to go uh, against Georgia Tech. And we forced them into a triple overtime and won. Senior night. Did you, score, did you score the final eight points? <laughs> I'm not sure. Listen, I don't care what I had to do. We just needed to win. And so I, 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 I respect any time that's on the shot clock. And I don't know how we did it then. You just keep on playing. You never know what happens. Perfect storm. Eight seconds to go. Clemson to inbound. Robinson comes up short. Miami has the rebound, and they have the game. That'll do Allen it. Allen to Williams, and the horn sounds, and Miami gets to the finish line with a 59-54 win. Their 10th win of the season inside the ACC. Win number 16. Turns out to be a wrangle fest here, but Miami wins it 59-54. What a great effort from both teams. I know that it was a little bit of sloppy play, but it was very interesting.